So everyone, this is Dumb is Live, and welcome to Dumb is Live News. Hope you guys are doing great. Now, I don't know if you guys are watching the VMAs right now, but this may be MTV's best award show in a very long time. Like, I kid you guys not. The performances I've seen so far have been A+. Plus. Not only that, the people that are presenting awards and also the people that are conducting interviews, such as Charlamagne the God, DJ Khaled, Michael Key, Jordan Pill. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Like, this may be the best VMAs in a very long time. Like, at one point, I used to watch these things back to back. Every year, I would watch them. Then, it got to a point where I just stopped watching them, but... I don't know, man. They hired some good people. But anyway, let's get into the news that I have for you guys today. And uh, we're going over a few things. So the first bit of news, Drake wins with Hotline Bling. He wins the best hip hop video of 2016. And here are the people that he was up against. Designer Panda, Bryson Tiller, Don't, Chance the Rapper, Angels, 2 Chains, Watch Out. Now, I'm not going to lie. The competition that he was up against this year... I don't know. It didn't seem like it was too competitive, right? Now, I don't know if it's the fact that less rappers are making music videos for their songs. I mean, that could be what it is. But when I look at the list of people that he went up against, although they're good artists, but you would think there will be some other people that will be in contention with that. But I guess not this year. Moving on to the next bit of news, Drake and Kanye have came out and announced that there's going to be a collaboration album between the two of them so that's gonna be sick now people have been seeing a bunch of these signs around la so this is pretty weird as you guys can see here it says calabasas is the new abu dhabi and it shows two logos right under that uh the first logo it shows is the ovo logo and the next logo i believe that's the good music logo it kind of looks like the rockefeller logo but i don't think that's what it is I think it's the good music logo. Now, this is the first sign that Drake has put up in L.A. this week. I don't know if you guys saw this earlier in the week, but he put up a sign just for Rihanna. As you guys know, they are dating right now. So Drake decided to give her her own sign. And that sign says, congratulations, Rihanna, from Drake and everyone at OVO. Moving on to the next bit of news, Rihanna's going to be performing four times today. And not only that, she's going to be receiving the Vanguard Award. Now, people are speculating that Drake is going to be giving her that award today. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, can't wait to see that. Now, this is what everyone's going to be looking forward to tonight. And I don't know why they decided to do this, but they're like, well, we're going to do it. MTV is going to give Kanye West four minutes to say whatever he wants. Like, he's not coming there to perform. Kanye West is coming to the award show to speak to people. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the last year's show. He came on stage and he announced that he was going to run for president in 2020. So who knows what he's going to say this time around. I think it's going to be crazy. I can't wait to see what he's going to say. Hopefully, he talks about the collaboration album between Drake and Kanye, that would be sick. Uh, he's definitely going to be talking about his tour, that's for sure. Now, I want to give you guys my thoughts on the collaboration album between Kanye and Drake. Man, that's going to be a crazy album. That's going to be very crazy. And I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be one of those dark albums that Kanye West is going to produce. Because sometimes, you know, Drake gets a little dark, right? But Kanye, for the most part... He's been in some dark spaces in his life, and it reflects with his music. So I don't know exactly what we're going to get from these two, but I would think that the album is going to be good, man. Jay-Z and Kanye were able to put together Watch the Throne. I would think that Kanye West and Drake can do even better than that, and the reason I say that is because they're very similar type artists. I mean, if you look at Drake, he's definitely cut from that Kanye West tree. Without Kanye West, I don't know if we would have a Drake Anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm out. And if you guys want to check out some of the other nominees for the awards, there's going to be some text in the description. Go check that out. This is Dom is Live, and you guys have a great day.